Hey, travelers. Another week, and Beth joins me again. Lucky you. We're, of course, on the verge of another winter storm right here in Wisconsin, so no more, uh, at least, what is going on? Can't make this stuff up. Anyway, uh, yeah, no, no outside, no outside stuff going on in the near future anyway, so. Uh, still breweries doing outside stuff, which is nice where, uh, where they can, um, We've taken part in that a little bit. Uh, Brewery Nonic, actually, over in Menominee, who I know we've talked about them several times, they do soup Sundays. Mm-hmm. So you can go over and they make fresh soup, uh, various kinds, you know, some chili and uh, different things like that. And uh, they serve until they're out. I, I'm not sure how much it costs or, or anything like that, but it looks delicious. So Yes, it looks really good. Yeah. With the Super Bowl this Sunday, uh, and oh, nobody... don't see that. Oh, sorry. With the big game, oh, this, the, the big, big game, game this Sunday, um, and nobody cares because none of the mid, unless you're a Chiefs fan in the Midwest, uh, or that random Bucks fan that happens to be out there. Uh, yeah, or the now, random now's, Brady hater. <laughs> yeah, now's now's the time to go out, go out and get some soup on Sunday because who cares? Uh, the game's not until the night anyway, but. Um, you know, I thought before we break it into be- in beer, I actually found some winter ales, which I'm really excited about. Um, <clears throat> I thought it'd be cool to, uh, so I, I screen captured some stuff. So, of course, I went on the old Untapped, and if you're not on Untapped, you need to go on Untapped. Um, what, what I really wanted to do was find the most liked beers and the least liked beers, but they don't have the least liked beers. I'm imagining like Budweiser and Bushlight are some of the least liked beers of all time. However, uh, the, the trending top rated beers right now are, uh, and I don't know if you guys can get these where you are. You know, if, if you can, let me know. And let us know um, if you think they're as good. The top two are actually out of production, so I'm guessing probably not, but... People are aging them. So Side Project Brewing, the, the top two beers are by Side Project Brewing. The first one's Beer Barrel Time 2019, and the second one is the 2018 version of that. And then uh, the the third ranked uh, top rated beer is Kentucky Brunch Brand Stout, which is toppling Goliath. Woohoo! Right, uh, right south of us in Iowa. Uh, we did an episode there. I know we talked that talked about that many times. If you want to know what Toppling Goliath Brewery is like, go check that one out. And then there's, um, I, I think we've had one of the Treehouse Brewing beers on here before, maybe. Um, King, there's three J's, Julius. King Julius. Um, of course, an Imperial Double IPA. Side Project Brewing, where are they from? They are from Maplewood. Maplewood, Missouri. Mm-hmm. So, not, you know, Midwest. Interesting. Ish. Yeah, I just was interested to see where they were from. So Yeah. So those, uh, and then the ones trending around here. So I did, within, within 100 miles of where we are, we're in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, if you're um, just tuning in for the first time. And if you are, welcome. But uh, I had seen that Hop Slam was back from Bell's Brewery. And, of course, Hop Slam, number one. And then uh, a couple uh, beers from 608, which is down in La Crosse. Uh, so Dunkula, the lager. Explosion. Yes, that that uh, they the infamous exploding beer came from 608. Yep. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just move on from that. Sorry. Yeah, we'll just move on from that. But uh, and then of course number four is uh, King Sue from Toplin Goliath. So, oh, yummy! Bunch of Toplin Goliath beers on there. If uh, if any of you know, and I and I've I was on Untapped just a little bit just to check things out, but if you know how to get the the bottom feeders, not really just to call people out, but I'm just curious. So wanted to see the the lowest ranked beers of all time. I know what mine are. I, I mean, I I can look up mm. what mine are. And but. it is not Bushlight or Bud Light. There's no? some areas around here oh, that yeah. I did not like. What is it's cat our, dog tonight? It's our cat dog. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, so um, I'd seen uh, 
well, it was a few days ago that Umbibulous over in Altoona, and we've had some of their beers on here before. Delicious. Yeah. Um, and we, we hope to get out there sometime and, and do a vlog or, you know, if we do the podcast, of course, do the podcast out there, that kind of thing. Um, they just got a neat feel inside. Yeah, there. really, really neat place. Yeah. Smaller brewery, but they're in a... Um, I don't know what the heck is going on here. What is she doing? Uh... Anyway, I seen they'd put out a winter ale, uh, a winter spiced ale, and and I think I'd mentioned a while ago that we haven't been able to find any really. I, I've been looking for them, and it's I've like been able. They heard you. Yeah, so they made one. Now is a little later than I would like, sure, but it's still winter, so it's the worst part of winter. And now we're like, ooh, we get to have something. Fun. Especially now that we're gonna get some snow tonight, so or ice or whatever. whatever who knows we're gonna get some sort of winter weather whatever that happens to be uh so i was really excited about that and then i thought well yes we could drink the whole can which as you see this crawler abnormally tall can we like instead of white yes open and talk about it Fine. We <laughs> jeez um i thought i need i needed something to go with it right i need another winter ale or another spiced ale or strong ale or something to now doesn't that look bigger than a, a crawler i'm not sure crawler? how many ounces this is it looks way bigger i know i i just read an article today about the can shortage <gasps> and they said that or that particular article said that the can shortage could go into 2025 2026 oh, it smells is delicious. that true i have no idea anyway uh, so I got another one from MKE, and we'll break into that. But so Ooh. you'll see unfiltered. Obviously, it's hazy. I like that beer. And uh, you get some spice on the nose. You get it on the back end too. It's good. Yeah, it's nicely spiced. It's delicious. That's that's what I would call a nicely spiced beer. That's good. Clove. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But not sweet. No, no, no. No, not sweet. And not hot. And you get a little bit of the you get a little bit of bitterness. But I don't think that's hot bitterness. Mm-mm. It's good. Maybe some anise. And, uh, and to my knowledge, I don't think I don't think they've ever tried a uh, a winter ale or a spiced ale of any kind before. So, um, they're they're just approaching their two year anniversary this coming July. So, still getting. Can I help you, Kitty? <laughs> I don't I don't know what's going on with this one. You're just gonna climb on the table. Yeah, I, she might. <laughs> this is delicious. Yeah, excellent job, on Bibulus. I don't know if they watch this show, but. Neat place, um, yeah. And there's there's more businesses out there now too, so that's that's nice. <clears throat> Altoona, at least in that part of the town, is actually starting to flourish. <clears throat> you want to? She's always wanted a cat. We have so we, a cat. We got a I we just, got a cat dog. <laughs> this is the dog that runs away when people come over, like hides behind the couch because she's so afraid and no, she's just no, climbing granted, all. No, granted, obviously nobody's come over in a long time. However, uh, that that's probably just set her back uh, a ways. So now she's even less. <laughs> anyway, that's also why we drink in this house. Trying to figure out our cat dog. It is like, it's spicy. It's good. Mm-hmm. It's good. Even on that, like, mm. That's something coming from you. What would this be really good with? What, Come on, Troy. What would this be Mike really presents. good to... Um, I'm just trying to think this would be good. You know how you have a decaf coffee or a regular coffee for Landon with something really sweet? This would be good because it's more of that like it's malty. spicy malt. Yeah, yeah that it would yep. cut through some of that really sweet stuff. So this would be really good to have with chocolate or something like that. Be delicious. Yeah. Ooh, it's good. Yeah, yeah. So the the other one that I found mm-hmm. and, and I still had trouble finding anything like this and and i went to woodman's and for those of you that don't know what woodman's is it's uh it's a big store they have a big (laughs) liquor liquor department and they have a lot of beer 
and they have a lot of they have two aisles of just cheese yeah <laughs> um typically when i go to try to find something that's that's a little more crazy i guess uh i go to the coffee grounds but i didn't have time to go to the coffee grounds today so plowed in yeah plowed in so we've had stuff from mke before i don't know what's going on here <laughs> um Let's roll with it i don't believe we've ever had this one so That's and, cool. and, and the description on there is a wintry mix. I, I'm assuming it's a winter ale, but um, it doesn't say anything else. Nope, it's pretty uh, nondescript. Doesn't smell as spicy as the other one. Pretty nondescript bottle. But just sit down. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yep, park it. There you go. You get, I mean, you get a little spice on the nose, right? Okay, now that is completely different. It's got different spice yes, to it. Yes, it does. Yeah. And it has like more of that, I always say richness. Like the other one has more like that edge to it. I don't know how to explain that. Bitiness. Yeah. yeah. This bitterness. one is not. Yep. This one's got more of that. Yeah. This is caramely kind of undertone. Smoother... Yeah. It's almost caramely. But yeah, it still has spice to it. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's there's definitely spices oh, it's there. mixed in. Ooh. What I don't know. That's good too. But yeah, well, and that's different beers for different people. Um, mm. I had always talked about. And I, I know in past episodes and past years that we've had Christmas beers and we've had, you know, some of the, like, Good King Wenceslas that uh, Lazy Monk used to make, which I would consider, you know, Christmas beer, obviously. Uh, that one's a little more bitey. That's got a lot of, like, anise-type flavors to it. Um, and for whatever reason, this year, just haven't seen a lot of them. I've seen... Um, you know, spiced ales and winter ales and Christmas beers and, you know, and they're all kind of in the same <gasps> family, uh, you know, what I would call the same family. That's what's in it. Orange peel. Orange peel. Yep. Caramel mixed with hints of orange peel. Grains of paradise and cinnamon. Oh. Yep. I can definitely taste that. A little bit of cinnamon. Not a but lot. The orange peel. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yep. That's what it just gives it that <clears throat> little. That's it. That's a spiciness to it. Mm-hmm. That's good. But that caramel really mm-hmm. smooths everything out it on is. the end. So full, it makes it fuller. Yeah. Yeah. Look what you're turning me into. I don't even know. <laughs> I like both those beers. I would drink both those beers. Like yeah, and, more than once. and honestly, I wish more people would make a spiced, you know, whatever they want to call it. They don't have to call it a spiced ale or winter, you know, just call it whatever you want. I mean, mm. I, I think we've moved past that in the beer world. Just call it whatever you want. Um, there's nothing, and I know <clears throat> people aren't going necessarily out to breweries as much anymore, if at all. Uh, and when I do, it's it's very... Um, thoughtful yeah and very minimal yeah and it well definitely minimal um but i really think about where i'm going and and if there's anybody in there really um does does this kind of remind you of an oktoberfest the Mm caramely part of it Mm -hmm. yep yeah but anyway uh there's nothing like being at a place and you know drinking a, a spiced beer when it's colder than the heck outside and granted, it's a little warmer this year than it has been in, in other winters. But but get out of your box and try stuff because this is yeah. really good. Yeah. The nice thing is, at least all the breweries around here, they're doing to go. Um, so you can always, uh, if you're swinging through the Eau Claire, Altoona area, you can always swing to go. Bibulous. They're only open, I think, Wednesday through Sunday, though. So no Mondays, Tuesdays. This is keeping you distracted. So. <laughs> so whatever works, man. <laughs> uh yeah so Mm. going back to the crowler since you so rudely interrupted me and wanted me to pour beer oh my goodness yeah what uh what (laughs) what 
This is uh, this is definitely an odd size. That is definitely bigger than I. I don't know. Though it's skinnier than. Yep. Isn't it skinnier? skinnier? So maybe it is the same amount. I don't know, but it. Definitely I just I just know with the can shortage that. So we don't have any laws here in Wisconsin what, like they get. do in Minnesota, do they? Do we? Of like oh, the we size, have alcohol laws, but no. The sizing, like, no. cause Minnesota is just ridiculous. If that were the case, there's no way Line and Googles could sell. They couldn't sell their own beer at the, the Liney Lodge. I mean, Line and Kugels even makes crawlers of their own beer. So, the, you know, uh, Wisconsin, as far as liquor laws go, pretty minimal although you could there are a lot of people that that would probably you want me to you want me to pet you too uh <laughs> there are a lot of people that would say we still have some laws that are outdated and stupid mm. and i would agree to that but um way less than minnesota this is delicious yeah i actually i don't have a favorite they're both very good in their own ways mm-hmm. which is great yes that's it is. a good problem Best to have about beer yeah uh, anytime that you ask, and you're, you're one of the, the culprits that always ask me, well, what's your favorite beer? I don't have a favorite beer. I honestly don't. Um, <laughs> I don't have long arms, okay? Yeah, well, and you'd be reaching with your, your short arm anyway. So. You know what? I'm a poem for you. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know where I was going <laughs> with that. You threw me off. Anyway. Oh, about that favorite beer. And I oh, always ask you favorite beer. Yeah. You're welcome. I don't have a favorite beer. Ever. Uh, favorite beer for today. I have, yes. Yeah, my favorite beer for today or this minute yes. will be something. Or what I'll, you're I'll in give the mood you, for. I'll give you an answer on that. But uh, otherwise, I, you know, I like to keep an open mind as far as beer goes. And some people forget, too, sometimes you can have a favorite beer and then you could get disappointed if it doesn't live up to its expectations on the a The second time day. that you have it, yeah. Or the third time. Or the third like, time. Oh, or that just didn't live Normally up I order this and it's so good, but today it sucks. Then don't, well, that's, that's, don't set yourself up for disappointment. But that's a human element. Yep. Isn't it? Keep your so, keep your mind open. That's the other thing that I want to remind people. There are humans behind these beers. So just remember that. And you can take that for what it's worth for anything. But just always remember that there's... Especially like Ambibulous, it is one family that runs that place. So, and I and I mean, it is, it is the family, the the husband, the wife, the daughter. Um, they keep that place up and running, and they're the ones behind the bar. They're the ones brewing the beer. They're the ones doing you know the social media and everything. So, um, when yeah. you look at that can, remember that. Yep. Yep, and that's a great place to end. I think. Mm-hmm. Uh Gonna try to find some some more winter type beers. I did I did read, of course, and for me this is not a winter type beer. It's a you know any any time of the year beer, but barrel aged beers. You know there are a lot of people that are drinking more barrel aged beers now, whether it be the pandemic, uh, the stress of the pandemic, and they need something to you know that hits a little harder, or um, just the fact that it's cold out, and that's what seems to seems to you know take the chill out of the bones a little better. Do you always drink yours in a special glass? No. Nope. Not a special kind of guy. Although if somebody has that glass mm. or if I'm thinking, actually actively thinking about it, what I'm drinking my beer out of, then, then yes. But otherwise, no. So maybe we'll have some of those next week. we got some, some aging on the shelf. So Anyway, uh, if you haven't already done it, make sure you subscribe here right on YouTube and then uh, check us out on all the other media channels. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, if you need to, Facebook, um, you know, and soon TikTok. I've been teasing it for a long time, but we're going to do it. No. Yeah. I anyway. will not be a part of that. No. Come on. You can dance. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, we will see you next week, everybody. Prost. Prost. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, you can click down below where there's some more episodes for you to watch. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on episodes that you do watch. We hope to see you next time.